Hey guys and welcome back to another video tutorial that I made a little while back. Uh, this one is using the curtain wall tool to create some pretty awesome parametric louver screens but you can use it for heaps of different things as you'll see. Uh, if you like this kind of thing, you want to see more videos like this and other interesting videos in Revit or architecture, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and the little bell and otherwise enjoy. So the first thing I want to do is we're going to model the basic building. We're going to create the mullion types for the louvers and frame. We're going to create the curtain wall type for the louver panels and then the curtain wall type for the frame. And the last thing we're going to do is just draw in the curtain wall in the model and it should all work pretty nicely. So first thing we're going to do is model the basic building. So for that we're in the floor plan already, so I'm just going to come across here and architecture wall and generic 200 wall is fine. And I'm just going to change the height to level 2. Then again in the architecture tab, we're going to click floor and we'll create a floor using the rectangle. Like so, and finish that at level one. And then we're going to create a roof as well. So architecture roof at level two, sure. And we're just going to create a flat roof, so I'm going to use untick defined slope and the rectangle. And we'll just have a quick look in 3D view what we've created. It's looking good. I'm just going to hover over these walls and tab to select all. And then just change the offset, the top offset to 500 mil and hit apply. Cool. So we've got a basic building and we're just going to create our curtain wall uh, louvers in this space right here. So the first thing we're going to do is create the mullion types for the louvers and frame. So to do that, we're going to go into families come down to curtain wall mullions and rectangular mullion and we're going to use this as the base but we're going to right click and duplicate it like that and rename this accordingly so louver we might make our louvers and say 10 mil by 100 mil like so and then to edit the properties we double click and we can set here, we can change the material. So I'm going to look for a timber. Okay, this cherry will be fine. It's going to appear like that in our shaded view. Okay. And the width, so the thickness, uh, the 10 mil thickness, this is where we can put that. So width on either side, so 5 mil plus 5 mil equals our 10 mil. And then our thickness up here is the overall depth. So we want that to be 100 mil. And we can hit OK there. And we're going to also create our frame mullion here also. So right click, duplicate again. And this one I might actually leave it at 50 by 150 mil. But I might just double click the, uh, the properties. And we're just going to change the material from aluminium to a bit of a darker gray. Let's see what we have in gray here. Sure, that looks about fine. Use render appearance. Cool. So it's going to just appear like this. Uh, dark grey in our shaded view. Hit OK there and we'll leave everything else the size and properties the same. Cool, so we've created the mullion types for the louvers and frame. Next we want to create the curtain wall type for the louver panels. So again in our plan we can architecture tab wall and change our wall type. And we're just going to use the basic curtain wall and modify that to start with. So I'm just going to select that and edit type, duplicate, and we'll call this the louver infill, and we might just call it horizontal louver infill. Enter that, and here we can set our uh, our properties for our louvers. So now we're just dealing with the infill panel of the louvers. First thing we'll do we'll set our horizontal grid to say maximum spacing of say 80 mil between them and we'll set our horizontal mullions the interior type to our rectangular mullion louver type here okay the last thing we want to do here is this curtain panel up here we actually want to set this to empty system panel empty like that um, and all that's going to do is make sure that there is actually an 
an empty panel or a, a gap, a void between each of our levers. That's really all we need to do in here. We can hit OK. And we're not going to draw yet because we need to set up our frame. So I'm going to hit Edit Type again. And we can duplicate this one. And we'll call this the frame. OK. And for this one now, the curtain panel, we can actually, instead of that being empty, we're actually going to set it to the horizontal louver and fill. So it's going to infill each of our curtain wall panels in here. It's going to infill each of, each of those with the horizontal louver type family. And now we just want to set the grid. So we want a vertical grid. And we'll set that to maximum spacing as well. And we might set our vertical grid at, let's say, a meter. And our horizontal grid at, let's say, two meters maximum spacing. And then we can set in here all our mullions. So we're going to just set basically all of them to this frame type. And I can set it for one. Select that, Control C to copy, and then Control V into each of these. Control V. Same here, we want to replace that with the frame type. And that's pretty much all we need to do in here. And hit OK. And now we're ready to draw our curtain wall. So we want to make sure we're on the curtain wall frame type. And we can just come in here, we can set our level up to currently level 2. And just draw between those walls. And we just want to make sure that it's drawn the right way. So if I tab to select the curtain wall there, you can see these arrows here. These always indicate the exterior of the wall. So currently it's drawn the wrong way. So we just need to click that to flip the direction. Now they're on the outside. So let's take a look in 3D view what we've created. I might just select these right click in view and that's looking pretty good we've got a nice louver system that's infilled our entire wall um, and you can see our frame is that dark gray whereas our louvers are the cherry material a bit lighter that's pretty much it guys hope you liked that if you did hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it to get notified any questions at all, please leave those below or to get in touch. Any comments or questions, suggestions, leave those below. Um, there is another video that I'm going to put out pretty shortly about how to take this to the next level um, and really get some really cool effects happening with the Louvre screens. So looking forward to that and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.